Oxford Kita ada pengurus pasukan Kelvin Kang Ching Pen uh, Jelatik Har Siwak Singh Atlet Zikri Samsudin dan juga Ahmad Syafiq So uh, Coach atau manager lah Boleh share dengan dia Preparation e-sports Okay, uh, thank you. Selamat pagi everyone. Sorry for the wait. Uh, yeah, today with me are the coach uh, Haswa dari pada Warif, uh, player QB dari pada PUBG Mobile dan player uh, lebih dikenali sebagai Moon dari uh, Mobile Legends. So, uh, just not share dengan everybody that we are ready for SEA Games. We have a total of uh, 56 at, uh, peserta, athlete dengan uh, coach and team managers, total 56 uh, that, and we are participating the 6 game title but uh, 2 game titles are the dual team which is Free Fire dengan PUBG Mobile Yes, uh, so far the preparations of the, the whole uh, teams are so far so good and I think we are, uh, I think two days ago, yes, two days ago, we hit the Bengkel Sasaran Pingat that we have uh, committed to uh, one goal and three bronze medals for uh, SEA Games. Ni. Goal, hopefully, dari PUBG Mobile. <laughs> uh, then, um, Gangsa dari pada Mobile Legends, Wild Rift, dan satu lagi, uh, yalah, what, what is it? <laughs> um, AOV. AOV because 2019 we got fourth place ada tempat keempat so I think this year two years later kita dapat push lah push untuk dapat satu gangsa dua player uh, from 2019 masih kekal uh, dalam squad 2021 yeah uh, other than that hopefully we can get another few uh, surprise medals sasaran ni dalam one one go three gangsa uh, we are also silently hoping that we kita dapat po, do a double podium finish for uh, PUBG Mobile because uh, PUBG Mobile juga the category team dan category solo juga. So yeah, I hope we can get the bonus from there lah. Yeah. I think before I uh, before I forget, I think I uh, we the everyone is waiting for the actual names, yeah, uh, to be released. That uh, let me just what a quick roundup lah, huh? Mobile Legends, yeah lah. Uh, I think this is for every uh, esports uh, enthusiast. They know Mobile Legends team Toda, uh, team Warif is um, uh, Sam Nine, team PUBG Mobile yeah lah, uh, Geek Fam and uh, Tabah NC. Negeri Sembilan Esports Association uh, AOV is uh, ADTS Lepas tu uh, Link of Legends is SEM9 And uh, Free Fire is Sorry Raw and Expert, uh, Secret Expert So I think I didn't miss anything already And uh, there's a few changes uh, I think this is, I think one of the uh, media will be asking There's been here, they've been hearing a few players coming back from from uh, uh, apa, uh, Duan Negara untuk datang so I think for Geek Fam side we have uh, Muhammad Farhan uh, as no lebih kenalis by Jangs from in, uh, he's currently coaching in Indonesia he's coming back to with Geek Fam and also uh, the uh, <laughs> I don't, can't pronounce his name Muhammad Dia which is uh, lebih dikenali sebagai Yuhai juga the uh, Dari Indonesia is coming uh, coming back to Malaysia to play for uh, Team Malaysia, and not forgetting uh, for uh, Mobile Legends side uh, another addition from the team to that will be uh, Muhammad Zu Hisham bin Muhammad No or lebih dikenali sebagai uh, Zon dari Geek Fam. So I think with this team, it's quite a uh, mam yang sangat. Uh, I wouldn't say it's a major all-star team, but I think this team can can give us a lot of medals. Yeah. All right. Questions? Anything you want to say, guys? <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, 
Okay, uh, untuk I st uh, sebelum I I start because every team is supposed to submit mereka punya training schedule kan. I make sure that everyone uh, tambahkan their physical training in which uh, because uh, as of now yang pemain uh, atlet yang sedang uh, duduk dekat kasar ni every evening they will go to the backfield there to 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 run and as for the players uh, just for anyone's information we split our boot camp mobile legends uh, mobile legends pubg mobile and uh, wild rift because mereka sedang menjalani mereka punya professional league kan so they are boot camping at their own house their own gaming house in which i am communicating with their direct team manager and also coach to understand their mereka punya daily schedule which i need i also stress out that kita perlu uh, add in uh, physical 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 training ini dari segi gameplay 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 you know you eight hours in front of the computer in front of the mobile or computer it's not going to work lah so kita perlu fokus on physical and also mental uh, uh, kecergasan dan kecerdasan am I correct yeah so we need to focus on that as well lah uh, as for I think due to the uh, bulan Ramadan as well I do understand there is a certain uh, apa which um, difficulties because of uh, of um, that uh, of their the the poster and all this uh, i think it's no excuse also lah untuk mereka that you know i think for me i think that this is a best uh, the best opportunity that we can we are not going to use this as a satu alasan that this is the perfect month for us to what uh, uh, our preparation because why we need to apa condition ourselves this i think this is the best man i don't think this is oh, oh we, because i i puasa I, i don't have energy i don't think that is it lah kita perlu within dalam bu bulan yang begitu uh, suci ni i think we channel it to more uh, to a more positive mindset leading up to sea games justifikasi ambil zone i think this one i will let <laughs> Zikri, Zikri answer. Kenapa kita orang ambil zon is actually kita orang dah lama dah nak try kita orang punya chemistry dengan dia. Plus kita orang boleh nampak kita orang actually as a as a enemy ataupun as a rival. Kita orang suka dengan dia tu je pada setup. Uh, into every team uh, yang team diperlukan so uh, basically kita orang nak uh, cuba lah dia punya, dia punya skill ataupun cara gameplay dia, permainan dan kita orang pun pasti yang dia akan buat yang terbaik untuk Malaysia sebab dia memang nak main untuk Malaysia so this is uh, the right time untuk pilih dia join kita orang sekali Yes. Uh, so let's say here, tadi pasal Jang dengan Yohai tu kan mm. So Jang sebagai coach Yang sebagai coach, ya betul uh, Yohai pemain Pemain, yes okay. Jadi ada dua uh, 4 plus 1 uh, For PUBG Mobile ialah 4 plus 1 punya kota Whereas for game-game uh, lain, uh, mobile games uh, is 5 plus 2 punya kota yeah. So 5, uh, five for PUBG Mobile, 4 starters, 1 reserve Plus 1 coach, ya yeah. Penjabat utama, I think it's still host country, of course, obviously Vietnam. Mereka ada hak untuk memilih game. So, I think host, host country ialah memang penjabat utama. Yang kedua ialah uh, Filipin, Filipina. Based on 2019, mereka punya medal tally pun agak memuaskan. So, uh, not forgetting Thailand juga. Uh, yeah, so which is why based on sasaran, kita macam like we we have we are we uh, based on data lah huh? statistik ini memang Vietnam and Thailand mereka on another level lah but I am sure that we are we will be able to membagi saingan or to get or, untuk mengambil upset silver ke upset gold ke I think this this team is has the capability of doing it lah yeah uh, question for uh, any of the players yep. uh, how big of a 
How big of a jump in difficulty is it uh, you feel from fighting, competing against uh, fellow nation, uh, fellow nation, uh, nation members, or fighting against uh, international members? Should be one answer. I think uh, it doesn't change anything for us because uh, we've been uh, meet them before in uh, Chile for four times. So all the players are the same. So I think it do better and just go for the gold medal. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, if our contingent manages to achieve their medal targets or exceed it, do you think that esports will be taken more seriously across across the country? Well, uh, most definitely, I believe so. I mean, it's I, I was so, I was quite surprised myself that uh, when I double confirmed with OCM that uh, we are sending the largest contingent uh, amongst all sports. So I think that was a very good uh, start already. So right now is to get the job done, to uh, to hit our sasaran, and then hopefully when once it comes to Asian Games, uh, Asian Games, Sukan Commonwealth, and uh, next year, uh, next year Cambodia Sea Games also, that you know hopefully we can even send a stronger team uh, with uh, with a few other categories that we missed out this this year lah. So our biggest competitors would be Vietnam and Thailand. And the Philippines is pretty strong too, but I believe we can achieve the bronze medal. And expectations are good. We believe in ourselves. We we'll just work hard and we train hard and prepare to face them and maybe cause an upset to at least Thailand or Vietnam. So yeah, we are forward to it. Okay, uh, sorry, I think I missed out one information just now for our second PUBG mobile team that uh, another import was a uh, jumper, which is Muhammad Israeldin bin Hashim, jumper into uh, uh, TNC, the, the second team of, of our PUBG mobile. Sorry, I missed that out just now.
Contoh macam kita ambil daripada negara Jepun, Brazil, um, baru-baru ni uh, US pun ada join juga So boleh dikatakan uh, uh, M-Series ni adalah tournament yang paling besar buat uh, setakat, setakat sekarang ni um, So kalau nak cakap, uh, enemy semua dah tahu game tu kita orang tak sebab uh, sentiasa ada pertukaran patch dan sebagainya Plus kita ada tambah satu player yang baru iaitu tim daripada yang lain So kemungkinan untuk kita bawa uh, gameplay yang berbeza-beza dan strategi yang berbeza-beza tu tinggi lah So kita boleh buat macam-macam kat situ Plus kita tahu Zon ni seorang uh, Roma yang uh, dia punya mechanical skill dia tinggi uh, Dan mech awareness dia sangat tinggi Plus dia selalu dapat aspect daripada Tim-tim daripada luar, contoh uh, Tim uh, negara daripada Filipin dan Indo um, So Mungkin dari situ kita boleh uh, Kacau orang punya Mental dan sebagainya lah uh, Untuk buat tambahan dengan uh, Apa yang uh, Saudara Moon cakap tadi that, uh, I sudah um, Berbincang dengan coach uh, Coach um, uh, Mobile Legends Bahawa after mereka habiskan MPL because MPL uh, is finished next weekend kan we will have a internal lockdown that kita tak akan bermain dengan sesiapa uh, negara uh, Southeast Asia that we will get the help kita akan ambil uh, dapatkan pertolongan dari top top few teams dari MPL Malaysia untuk sumbangkan um, sesi scrim ini dengan todak so a few teams have already uh, agreed with uh, this arrangement that kita nak keluar ke, pergi ke Hanoi itu bagi surprise so a few Malaysian teams are already working together to make sure that we keep our secrets di dalam Malaysia saja so that we it doesn't go outside ke ke Asia Tenggara lah ya yeah, inilah mm. Tak akan kami akan training secara dalaman saja. Lepas mereka, maybe I think uh, mereka go for their raya break. Everybody come back and then you just among Malaysian teams. I think right now Malaysian teams also, even though yes, uh, team Todak ni memang ada, uh, uh, sudah ada uh, is very uh, very sta uh, apa steady M1, M2, M3. But I think this year especially this season especially dalam Liga MPL itself. I don't know who is a champion. I don't know if Toda will still be a champion. But you see, there's more and more teams that are setara, uh, will reach that standard already. Same goes for for PUBG Mobile. You will never know who is going to to win it. So I think that's the part where where is uh, Malaysia sangat strong right now. Liga Malaysia sekarang tak kira uh, MPL tak kira PMPL. Saingan adalah kuat. I think that's uh, easily at the top eight. Uh, for Warif, not yet. <laughs> Mereka masih a bit. Uh, Another level, but hopefully the ecosystem of Warif juga akan uh, lead up to dengan apa PUBG Mobile dan Mobile Legends that at least ada enam team yang six teams yang dapat jadi champion, you see? Yeah. Ya, Pakcik. Itu lebih.
Pasal kita orang memang akan target for goal because uh, our main rival just uh, Thailand and uh, Indo because they are very strong. Plus uh, right now kita orang uh, ada taking uh, one player from Indo which is Lee Bon Malaysia lah. So uh, I think uh, these games uh, kita orang akan bagi a different punya gameplay and uh, I'm very confident in my teams uh, for this game, so that's why I can say that uh, we are targeting gold medal uh, for this time. Uh, even this our first time for this games. So um, for me, um, it's not a big pressure. We just play like uh, kita orang yang macam biasa. Sebab our opponent tu semua kita orang dah pernah jumpa for this. So. Um, just try to focus and be full out lah. Hmm? Siapa? Okay. Dua team. Hmm? Yeah. Oh, tak, tak. Make, uh, make it, sesiapa yang uh, join team akan automatically they, uh, join the solo. So what I understand right now is yang solo ialah uh, kesemua players which is uh, lima player dari setiap, setiap pasukan akan masuk free for uh, jenis I, I masih tak uh, confirm uh, format tu but it seems to be that way lah that, that's why I say I, kita harapkan bonus bonus uh, pingat dari sana solo I think mereka punya skill uh, skill set pun on top di, uh, di kalangan uh, Southeast Asia punya region their skill set uh, their firepower is on is great so who knows but I we'll see lah we'll see yeah yes uh, Yes, okay. Yes, uh yes, uh initially we when we submitted uh the entry by events, we did submit nine categories which is only except for crossfire. Crossfire is a very very old game. Uh, which is I think the last inform that last data that we had was our Saudara Ranro here. He was our national champion. <laughs> uh, that was the only data that I have uh, for Crossfire. So that one obviously uh, is not a no go. But we went for uh, Warif ladies as well. Unfortunately, um, when we submitted this to OCM, I mean normally when we we send a team, we need to give a lot of data and uh, statistic to to say okay, this team may, really can make it lah. So unfortunately, we don't have enough data for uh, for um, Warif ladies. So therefore, OCM did not uh, approve that. And then another one, based on submission of event as well, FIFA Online Four was supposed to be hit in in under the uh, esports e site uh, under Malaysia Esports Federation, in which I've also submitted until towards. The our selection process, I realized that oh, it's not our jurisdiction. I was just doing my job. The submission, uh, the upper the list from the Vietnam uh, Associ Association organizers list in, list it out. I just tick 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 whatever we think that we can send, we send. But unfortunately, we are down to seven only lah, which is uh, including the PUBG solo seven titles. No, it's under the e Mount FAM, yeah, I think they are after us, I think you can ask them about that, yeah. In total, it clicks like a lot of people. 47, you can click on the other side? No, they have the other side of the side. This is for our side. Yeah. Yes? Okay. Um, masukkan Jams dan Yuhai Itu mereka sendiri yang pilih Ataupun Big Fam sendiri yang approach Untuk uh, membawa masuk Yuhai dan Jams Dan Impak yang macam mana yang Big Fam harapkan untuk Yuhai dan Jams okay, Untuk masukkan Yuhai dan Jams uh, Actually uh, They willing to join us So uh, For Impak dia orang masuk Join kita orang I think uh, the Mitoram B2 uh, is released to us so to compare uh, 
our performance uh, in league uh, without without him, without the players, which is the UI. And I think uh, it's around more uh, stronger with UI than uh, our millennial right now. Because right now, we have two, two, two subs, so we need to change uh, each game. So, uh, I think Dia dia beri satu impact yang besar lah, because dia ada confidence level di sendiri and dia ada uh, game sense yang sendiri and also play uh, power yang sangat kuat as we know so I think for DC games uh, kita orang boleh buat yang terbaik Alright, thank you Okay, thank you everybody, thank you